You know what makes me really mad? Book covers. Walking into Barnes & Noble is a sure way to be overwhelmed by a storm of garbage artwork. Trash. 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 Some might say, the art isn't objectively bad, you just don't personally like it yourself. Wrong. This is terrifying. They also say, never judge a book by its cover. But dog. If I was to pen a new American classic, took me years to write this. It's a poetic, emotional story that captures the human condition unlike any book before it, and readers contemplate their life and they examine society in new ways. The book earns 1 million Michelin stars and a Pulitzer Prize, and is just as provocative as it is beautiful. I poured my heart and soul into this book, mind you. And the publishing company comes to me and says, Here's the artwork we designed for your book. I'd be pretty happy about that, I'm not gonna lie. Looks pretty good. How can a writer, with a story they're burning to tell, with a passion for literature and language, be okay with presenting their baby like garbage? At the end of the day, yeah, what's on the page matters most. But consider this parable. Socrates comes into your house and he's wearing an all-over print space hoodie and camo crocs. He's puffing a vape cloud. He's got a giant mod, a huge mod the size of your forearm. And he says to you, true knowledge exists knowing you know nothing. You'd say, yeah, you know nothing. And then you'd blow his head off with a fucking shotgun. Presentation matters. Artwork on these books it doesn't really have to be beautiful to be good. But making your cover look like a cosplay photo shoot will always look awful. The title alone looks better. A minimalist illustration at least makes me interpret its meaning. But what the hell? These all look the same. I've seen these covers four trillion times. I will never read this. Similar formats aren't really the problem. I, uh, like, I love how Penguin Classics are styled. But dude, do you have no shame? Your cover looks like portrait mode on the iPhone. I will kill you. Why does your book look like a home goods pillow sponsored by Etsy? I will destroy the planet. I will litter before I ever buy a book with the film adaptation's cover on it. Look at The Ring's original cover. Beautiful, eye-catching, simple. Now look at its latest cover. I'm literally, I'm about, I'm about to start littering. I'm, uh, fuck recycling. I know covers don't matter. If the book is good, the book is good. But I've seen YouTube thumbnails that are more inspiring than this. On a positive note, at least a lot of books have multiple covers, so you're bound to find a cover you enjoy or think represents the book best. D you know, there's about 900 different Harry Potters a fan could collect. And you know, I wish I could get around to collecting them, but I'm actually too busy designing the cover for my book. Which, I'll, I'll give you a little preview, it's gonna look a little something like this. Um.